other is cholesterol. Now comes to the stability of viral infectivity. In general, viruses are most sensitive than the bacteria or fungi to interaction by physical and chemical agents. But there are important uh, exceptions. A knowledge of specific viral sensitivity to environmental condition is therefore important for ensures, ensuring the preservation of infectivity of viruses as reference reagents and in clinical specimen collected for diagnosis, as well as for their deliberate interaction for such pr practical ends of sterilization as sterilization disinfection and the production of inactivated vaccines first is the temperature the principal environmental condition that may adversely affect the infectivity of viruses is temperature surface protein are denatured within a few minutes at temperature of 55 to 60 degrees centigrade with the result that the virion is no longer capable of normal cellular attachment, penetration, and or uncoating. At ambient temperature, the rear the rate of decay of inf infectivity is slower but sufficient, especially in the summer or in the tropics. To preserve infectivity, viral preparations must therefore be stored at low temperature, 4 degrees centigrade, wet ice or refrigerator is usually satisfactory for a day or so but no but longer term preservation requires much lower temperature two convenient temperatures at minus 70 degrees centigrade the temperature of the solid carbon dioxide that is dry ice and some mechanism mechanical freeze or minus 196 minus 196 degrees centigrade the temperature of liquid nitrogen as a rule of thumb the half life of most of viruses can be measured in seconds at 60 degrees centigrade, minutes in 37 degrees centigrade, and hours at 20 degrees centigrade, and days at 4 degrees centigrade, and years at minus 70 degrees centigrade, or lower. Enveloped viruses are more heat liable than non enveloped viruses. Enveloped viruses, uh, that is, uh, those of gene on uh, those of the genus of pneumovirus in the family Peramyxoviridae are also susceptible to repeated freezing and thawing probably as a result of disruption of the virion by ice crystals this poses problem in the collection and transportation of clinical specimen the most practical way of avoiding such problems is uh, to deliver specimen to laboratory as rapidly as practicable packed without freezing or cold gel package. In the laboratory, it is often necessary to preserve virus stocks for years. This is achieved in one or two ways. First is a rapid freezing of a small aliquot of virus suspended in the medium containing protective proteins and or dimethyl sulfoxide. Followed by storage at min minus 97 degrees centigrade or minus 190 degrees centigrade, 196 degrees centigrade, or second, freeze drying that is lyophilization, that is dehydration of a frozen viral suspension under vacuum, followed by storage of the resultant pow powder at 4 degrees centigrade or minus 20 degrees centigrade. Freeze drying prolongs viability significantly even in ambient temperature and uh, is used uh, universally in the manufacture of attenuated virus vaccine. The most prominent exception to this is the prions, which are uh, amazingly stable under uh, virtually all environment conditions, surviving boiling, freezing, and many physical and chemical insults, and even large dose of gamma radiations. Second is the ionic environmental, ionic environment and pH. On the whole, the viruses are the best preserved in an isotonic environment at a physiological pH. But some tolerate, but some tolerate a wide ionic and pH range. For example, whereas most enveloped viruses are inactivated at pH five to six. Rotaviruses and many piguanaviruses survive 
the acidic pH of the stomach. Now next is the lipid solvents and detergents. Because the infectivity of enveloped viruses is destroyed readily by lipid solvents such as ether and chloroform or detergents such as sodium deoxy chocolate, these agents must be avoided in laboratory procedure concerned with maintaining the viability of the virus. However, detergents are used commonly by a virological virologist to solubilize viral envelope and to liberate protein for use as a vaccine or for the chemical analysis. Thanks for listening to this uh, audio. There is from chapter 1 the nature of viruses as a teleological agent of veterinary and zoonotic disease from Murphy, book of Murphy. Thanks.